Hi. Next video now in the series talking about music notation, how music's written down, how we can read it, how we can interpret it and play it. The last video talked about the stave and how that tells us the, the pitch of the note that we're going to play. And I said there was a different symbologies that it indicate the, the length of the note that's being played. To start off with then, let's just have a look at a piece of music. And what we've got here is a bar of music. You should, if you've looked at the uh, previous tutorial, you'll recognise the stave and the clef. There's a couple of numbers uh, above each other there, the 4-4. Four, four. That's the time signature. Don't worry about that for now. We'll, I'll do a, another tutorial soon uh, where we'll talk about uh, time signatures and so on. What I'm concerned about now is the, the symbols that we're using for the notes. And what we've got there is four notes. If you recognise the stave and the treble clef from before, you'll know that we've got, got four A notes there. And what those symbols tell us, as well as the pitch, because of where they are on the stave, they tell us how long the note needs to be played for. Now the notes, we don't talk about them in terms of like a number of seconds. You know, there's nothing that says that, you know, that black dot there means that you play the note for a half a second or a quarter of a second or whatever. The notes are all relative. So let's start off with um, one of the longer note symbols. This is called a semi-brief, or a whole note. Um, the symbol for that is basically a, a hollow dot. And the length of time that this plays for, you know, in terms of like you know number of you know seconds or half a second or quarter second, whatever, that's determined by the time signature and what's called the tempo, the number of beats per minute. Uh, so we'll talk about that later. For now, just really is to make you aware of this is a type of note and it's called the semi-brief and in a given situation it will have a, a certain duration but as I say the durations are all relative so what do I mean by relative well if we see a note with that symbol it's telling us to play for a particular length of time whereas if we see a note with this symbol this is called a minim that minim is a half note which means if you see that it means play it for half as long as you would play a semi-brief. So that semi-brief, the whole note, is equivalent to two minims. Really when we're looking at uh, notes, durations and so on, it's all relative, it's all halves and doubles and so on. So that's a minim. Same symbol as the semi-brief but it's got that, uh, that stalk coming up from it. Um, generally speaking if you draw that on the, the stave below where the, the note is below the middle line, below the B on a treble clef, that symbol will go up over, that stick will go up over, whereas if it's in the top half of the stave you would draw it with the uh, the the stick on the, the left hand side going down over. It's a more efficient use of space. Okay, so that's the minim, the half note. Now a minim is equivalent to two crotchets crotch it as a quarter note, so two quarters equals a half. So in the time that would take you to play one semi-brief you would play two minims or you could play four crotchets, all, all the same, or you could play a minim and two crotchets, if you see, because it all adds up to one whole note. Subdividing the crotchet even further we come to the quaver and the quaver on its own is drawn like that, that's an eighth note. Now if you get two quavers together, um, again this is just to keep the, the notation quite, um, yeah, just to keep the notation a bit neater, you would draw it like that with them joined together. So what you've got there is two quavers together which is the equivalent of a crotchet, because two eighths is the equivalent of a quarter. Dividing that further the naming convention gets a bit easier um, because if we take a quaver and we split it in half we get a semi-quaver which is a sixteenth note. Half of an eighth is a sixteenth. And again, if we wanted to draw two semi-quavers uh, next to each other, we'd use this symbology, We're using the, where the, the notes are kind of linked together. And the semi-quaver can be split down again, so half of a sixteenth is a thirty-second, and we get what's called a demi-semi-quaver, which is a thirty-second note. And we can keep going, where we get a thirty-second note is split into two which would give you a hemi demi semi quaver which is a 64th note and so on. Um, it's less and less common to see anything as small as a 32nd because the 
you know, even at a slow tempo, um, a 30 second note would still be quite a, a short, short space of time. So maybe if you're looking at some, a transcription of a really shreddy guitar solo, you might see like 30 second or possibly 64th note, but they're really not that common. Okay, so there, so like it's, it's background information for you there, the, the different types of notes. So just to summarize what we said, we have a whole note, which is the semi breathe We have a half note, which is the minim, quarter note, which is crotchet, eighth note, which is the quaver, sixteenth note is a semi quaver, thirty second note, demi semi quaver, and so on. Now let's put that into practice. So what I'm going to do now is play through something where we start off with a semi breathe followed by two minims, followed by four crotchets, just to show you the way that the uh, the, the the note can be divided. And then we'll do the reverse, go from something very uh, short, starting getting longer, working its way up back towards the semi-brief duration. Okay, so there's quite a few new note names in there um, for you to, to get to grips with. Um, my personal advice is don't worry too much about those to begin with. Um, it's increasingly common now when people are talking about notes that they use things like whole note, half note, quarter notes, and you know fractions, you know, 8, 30, 16, 30 seconds, and so on. Um, so uh, my advice is think about the way those notes are divided up you know and be familiar with that concept and then start t tagging some real names onto them it's useful to know the names um because you you know now and again you will come across them and it's useful to know what they, they mean um but rather than giving yourself an awful lot to learn straight off learn the basic concepts with something that's easy to get your head around like thinking of them is is just as, as numbers and fractions uh, and then start worrying about calling them, you know, semi briefs and minims and crotchets and quavers and so on. Okay, so those are the, the symbols that we use to describe the notes. There's a corresponding set of symbols that we use to describe what's called rests, where we aren't actually playing a note, and I'll, I'll talk about those in a, in a separate video. But for now, um, we're just going to talk about the, the notes. Get yourself familiar with these concepts. Um, you know the idea of taking a note and then it's split up into you know into halves, and quarters, and, and eighths, and so on. And what I'll talk about in the next video is how those n those relative values, if you like, of notes, note durations, actually can actually correspond to something which is a like a real world time duration. Okay, so. Have a bit look at that, you know, rewind this, pause it as often as you need to. Okay, so we'll leave it there and uh, I'll catch up with you in the next video where we'll take a look at uh, time signatures. I think. Okay, bye for now.